Commitment chain rolling in. <laughs> that was corny as hell. I, I don't know why I did that. It was just spur of the moment. Hello, once again, Tuesday. We in here, baby. <laughs> all right, all right. That's my ADHD. If you haven't noticed it by now, it's it's a blessing, not a curse, a blessing. So, hello. I don't know what that was. I think that was a little seizure. <laughs> the pizza, a little. Okay. All right, I'm done. All right, all right, all right. We're back. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, seriously, enough of that. I'm so sorry. I know that's annoying. That's probably annoying, but it's just me. It is what it is. So, here I am again today to do the next actor on my list. I'll give you a second to see who it is. Actually, you'll probably never guess. I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you. In a second. So, again, Tuesdays. Friday's video will release of me portraying an actor, or I should say describing an actor that I like a lot and admire, and another one that should give me a shot. Bars? <laughs> Easy? <laughs> Call me Dr. Dre? <laughs> okay, seriously, seriously, seriously. I promise this is the last time. Last time. Done. Okay. For real. Let's talk. Next actor on the list. Denzel Washington. You should have already seen it coming. Come on now. It's the trend. Come on. Me. Hey, come on. All right. Next actor, Denzel Washington. My man. I need one shot. One shot. I have the utmost admiration for you as an actor who who literally started from the ground hustling you know and, and to make it to where you've made it and you talking about you writing you writing and producing and you acting in your own movies come on now come on now come on man training day First movie my dad put me on to you. Training Day. By far. It, it was a crazy movie, but I mean, in all honesty, I thought it was super funny. Hot take. I thought it was super funny. Okay? But you have have done the incredible. You you have this this just aura about you. You know, this the method acting that you do. Where you you dive into a character, it's it's like it's it's almost like nothing I've ever seen before. Where you take on the responsibility of a role as if you were there in the moment as that person. I know it sounds like a cliche and, and kind of like like obviously I'm an actor, you know, and I gotta be the per. But it's you do it on on a level that is 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 like unrivaled the the way you played the the way you played Malcolm <sighs> Malcolm flipping X bro <laughs> like like it, it it was it was like seeing Malcolm's speeches side by side and seeing your mannerisms and and just behaviors and small ticks and just down to the very last detail of the character and being able to break that all down and literally become, it's 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 spectacular, um, man. I, you know, you you've been in the industry for for so long, and you you've been able to achieve. I mean, a, a lot. You've been able to achieve a lot as a black actor, you know, to get out there and win Oscars, and and st oh, speaking of. Oscars fences, dude. Like, me and my mom watched that movie together. 
and this was in theaters and like the way you inspired being a man and, and portrayed a man hustling and, and having responsibility of course you know you you you, you do some in, infidelidacious but you know just the way you portrayed how a man is supposed to take care of his family regardless of anything else and and it, it's always been something that sat with me because that's how my dad was and my dad he, he's from the caribbean and, it, and he's straight up a man handles his business a man stands by his word and if a man does not have his word he he's not a man and, and takes care of his family and does whatever it takes, whatever it takes to provide and just use just just the way you, you, you know, your your discipline in the movie, like being that you wrote that. I know it, it this wasn't just like something that was on a piece of paper or a script. This was something this embodiment was was what I respected most. You know, and and it's always it's always followed me that you have to hustle. You know, your family is is first. You do what you gotta do. Yeah, it's great, you know, to get a promotion, get a raise, right? But you do all of it, not for you. Cause in the movie it wasn't it wasn't for you. You wanted your fence. But it was for your family. Your family was never hungry. Your family never needed anything. Needs and wants, some people tend to confuse those these days. Your family never needed anything. They were always provided for and taken care of. And, and your, your demeanor, even outside of the movie, you go to interviews, how you treat your family. It's, you got that swagger, man, of, of someone who's like, I can be proud that my, my, my people are taken care of. And it's, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. And, and you protect them to the death. And I, I just, I, I love that about you, man. Pause. But I do, I, I, I respect you and, and admire you so much. Your acting is 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 on a tier in its own category. I, I, I've, I don't think I've ever seen any anything on that level. Um, but yeah, I, I just had to shout you out because you're, you're just that great. You know, I'm sure you probably hear it all the time, uh, but you'll hear it again from me. You also inspired me to be an actor, but you also inspired me to critique acting. It sounds crazy. I'm, I'm some, you know, Joe Smo, you know, on the side of the road that nobody's ever heard of, but me watching you and Will Smith, as, as you'll see in the previous video, acting, and I'm always on analysis mode. I, I can enjoy a movie, of course. I, I go in, I enjoy a movie, but my now it, it's honed my eyes to know what to look for because acting is, is, is bringing forth realism from something that isn't real in most cases. And that, it's, it, that, that skill is next level. And, and it, it, there's no way it can't be appreciated, you know. But, yeah, just just analyzing, seeing someone's posture, you know, a, a, a facial expression, you know, a, a tear, a mouth, a, a quiver in the corner of the mouth, you know, a, a sudden tense, a muscle flex, a, a finger twist, just all the little, it, it, it just being able to, to sell naturality it, it's 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 beyond i don't know but enough ranting man it would do me the hugest of favors that's probably not a word i'll have to check that out if you give me one shot i just need one 
Now, I know earlier I said there's a difference between needs and wants. I live and breathe and eat acting. Everything about me is animated. It's, it's been just a passion since childhood. I grew up doing little plays in the church. You know, one of them was recorded. I thought I was already a movie star. And, and it was just recorded. They put that thing on DVD. I was like, yo, this is crazy. I'm on a DVD. Like, you got to plug that shit in, right? And you got to hit play on that thing. <laughs> I was tripping, right? But I was on a DVD. It didn't even matter. Being on the stage, you know, portray like, it's, it's, a, it's, it's another feeling, and it's it, it's something I feel that only actors would be able to relate to and understand what I'm trying to break down and convey. But regardless, one shot. I just need one. I need your help. A young, aspiring black actor, I'm, I'm trying to make it. I want to be able to stand on a stage. I don't even got to be nominated for an Oscar. I want to be at the Oscars. I could be in a seat. I want to be able to tell my, my family, my parents who, who, who have given me so much. Mom, dad, your boy made it. You know, I can take care of y'all. Your boy made it. I'm, I'm here. I pursued this dream. I know you guys invested in, in other methods. Because I ain't going to lie. The parents? Nah. Dad? You know, Caribbeans. Nah, bro. You, you got you to gotta do something. Work hard. You, you know, this, this is just how life is going to be. That's not how life has to be. And I, 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 my mom is, is, is do something that makes you money. You, you got to do something that makes you money. Yeah, I know, but I'm not happy he, he, I, I could be making a hundred thousand dollars a year you know and 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 be miserable i don't want to do that i would rather survive on thirty thousand dollars a year acting full time than doing anything and again it's not even about the money i can i can work i will i do i do that now i will work even while i i, I don't care as long as I just have the ability to, to be in, in actively a part of my dream to, to, to just be in front of a camera, man. It's just the most amazing feeling. It's, it's next level for the things that I have already done. I thank God for the opportunities he's given me. I just, I just want to experience it over and over and over again. I, I could never get tired. Never. I could never get tired of it. Ever. You know, and, and I want to be able to, to tell my parents, like, yeah, you, you, you got to work hard. You got to hustle. You got to do something that makes you money. But life doesn't have to be just that way. We, life can be about achieving dreams and, and reaching goals. You know, my parents chased their own things for a little and, and unfortunately, you know, fell by the wayside because life. But I want to be the one. I, I'm their only child. I, I, I want to be able to confidently tell my parents, hey, mom, dad, I know it wasn't your first choice, but I did it. So, Mr. Denzel, I don't know what else to say about you, man. You're, you're just a great man. Everything I've seen about you, you're so poised and, and, and reserved and, and respectful, but you also command respect. It's, again, it's, it's, it's something to be admired. So, one shot. I just need one. And for everyone watching, everyone who will watch, everyone who has watched, I don't care what the number. If you've gotten this far, thank you so much again. You know, you guys are awesome. Hearing me ramble and rant. This is the most basic of things. I, I, 
<laughs> but it's what I got right now. And if this is the thing that puts me on the map, it's what does it. And I can credit you guys for that. So help a brother out, you know, like, subscribe, get that algorithm running so I can show up on front pages. That will be excellent because the more attention I get, the more likely it is for these people to actually look my way and be like, I, I, I could, I'll, I'll give, I'll give my man a shot. I'll give him one, one. Like I said, even if I don't, it's not like I'm going to quit. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be one of those things where I'm like, regardless, you know, your boy going to hustle. But it would help. It would help if I got some recognition. So, thank you again for watching. You guys are great. Love you guys. The homies. Don't, for, don't forget, y'all are the homies now. Y'all the homies. I hope you have a great day. And uh, another word of inspiration. You know, family, friends. Cherish those who care about you. Because in a world where lots and lots of people cherish their own, many of them aren't going to be worried about you. So cherish the people you have. Hold them close. Love them. Because there aren't too many who, who will be there for you. Down, bad, low, down, broke. Stick with you. Never leave your side. Never betray you. Always have your trust. Those are those are rare and few. So hold the ones that you have that do that close. Even if you fight. The ones you know that are real are the ones who stay with you after the fight. And they also tell you stuff that probably caused the fight. That you didn't want to hear, but you needed to hear. So love them. Keep them close. Guys, thank you again. Take it easy.